Mandela came yes. and was disrespected in Florida. Yes. I remember when we came for Trayvon Martin and they wouldn't even arrest George Zimmerman. Yes. And we marched, got him arrested and they acquitted him. We didn't have a vote in the jury room. But here we are today. We all have a vote. In fact, we have an early vote. And Florida is going to show the nation that truth crushed to earth shall rise again. It is appropriate the ministers led souls to the polls. They didn't tell you to vote for, but they told you to vote. Vote for who is on your side. Vote yes on number four. Because we need to expand the electorate. If people have paid their dues to society, then they need to be returned to their dignity and their pride and be able to vote again. How do we have churches that redeem people, but you're not redeemed because you can't vote no more? Florida is the battleground for the 21st century. I thought about how in 2013 some of us marched in Selma because 50 years before that we saw John Lewis was beat on that bridge. But 50 years later we marched across that bridge with the first black president Barack Obama. We didn't march over that bridge because we were home complaining. We didn't march because we were home cussing at the television. We didn't march because we was hitting the radio. We marched because we kept working and kept voting and kept going, no matter rain or shine. Don't you ever forget that as last week Randy and I were in New York, where we were dealing with this vicious, bigoted, uh, heinous crime of 11 Jews killed down in a synagogue because they were Jewish. And I thought about how two Jews and a black, Goodman, Cheney, and Swerner, went to Mississippi and were killed, were mowed down with their eyes open to give us the right to vote. Not long after that, an Italian woman left Michigan and went down to the South to register us to vote, and they killed that woman. One Sunday morning, a day like today, four little girls, they weren't at a rally, they were in Sunday school at the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama. And a man put a bomb in the church and killed those four little girls to give us the right to vote. Medgar Evans was organizing voters in Mississippi, pulled in his driveway one night. His wife and three little children inside. Man blew his brains out to give us the right to vote. And here you are in 2018. Nobody shoot you in the driveway, nobody bombing your churches, nobody mowing you down, just too lazy and ungrateful to get up and use what others God to give you. It's time to vote about it. I keep seeing Trump in my lago. But there's another part of Florida, Trump. There's not golfing and not sipping pina coladas. There's another side that you don't see and you don't regard and you don't respect. But the side you ignore is coming out to vote today for the last day. But right then, you'll hear from heaven. We're going to heal the land. Truth and we're going to heal the land. We're going to heal the land.